Hi everyone, welcome back to Study Hat. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at making sense of scrambled sentences. And the way that we should approach this task is to read the sentences in our head and practice the pronouncing the options in our head. We should also be looking for clues throughout the paragraph. Has a character been introduced before? Is everything in the right order in terms of events that have been described and reactions to them? And as usual, we should work through using our process of elimination where we start left and move right. Let's have a look at an example. Rearrange the sentences to ensure they make sense. So let's have a look at the sentences. Are you hungry, Bruno? Mrs. Maisel asked as she entered the house. It was six o'clock and she was due back any minute. The dog, Bruno, sat by the door waiting for his owner. When the door opened, Bruno ran eagerly over to his dinner plate. So let's think about what is this whole passage about? So we know that there's a dog, it's called Bruno, and it seems to appear that he is waiting for his owner to get back so he can be fed. So he's sitting by the door waiting for her and we can assume that she is called Mrs. Maisel. So now let's go through each sentence and think about if its current placement is appropriate. So the first sentence. Are you hungry, Bruno? Mrs. Maisel asked as she entered the house. Okay, so the owner is back here, so it can't be the first sentence because the rest of the paragraph describes Bruno waiting for her. The next sentence. It was six o'clock and she was due back any minute. So who is she? So this is a mysterious start, if this was our first paragraph. And it doesn't quite make sense in this context because you don't know who she is. And yet there has been a reference to an owner before. So perhaps we should be looking for a sentence about an owner because we know that the she is the owner, Mrs. Maisel. So the third sentence, the dog Bruno sat by the door waiting for his owner. Okay, this is a clear introduction because we've got the dog, Bruno, and we've got the fact that he's sitting by the door waiting for his owner. So this sentence could well be first. And then the last one, when the door opened, Bruno ran eagerly over to his dinner plate. It does suggest a previous action. So let's have a look at putting the first one that we think goes first, the, our introduction one. The dog Bruno sat by the door waiting for his owner. And the sentence that makes most sense next would be, it was six o'clock and she was due back any minute because we know that the she is the owner. Then we've got this idea of the dog running over to his dinner plate because the door has opened. We can assume that this comes next and it makes the most sense to come next because we haven't yet met the character Mrs. Maisel. So when the door opened, Bruno ran eagerly over to his dinner plate. And in the last sentence, Mrs. Maisel clearly has seen an action that suggests that Bruno is hungry. So he must have run over to the dinner plate as she opened the door. And then as she's entering, she asks this question. So let's have a read of these sentences in the new order. The dog Bruno sat by the door waiting for his owner. It was six o'clock and she was due back any minute. When the door opened, Bruno ran eagerly over to his plate. Are you hungry, Bruno? Mrs. Maisel asked as she entered the house. This is the order that makes the most sense because we can see that we're introduced to Bruno. We understand why he's waiting and what time it is. There's the action of his owner opening the door and then there's the final action of her entering and seeing that Bruno is hungry. That's it for today's lesson on scrambled sentences. Don't forget to have a go at the quiz right after this and I'll see you in the next video.